Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. We are God's Church of Love online. And I love this family of ours. Every single person is so special. You just don't know. I've never been a member of a church that has so many beautiful people. Wow. Anyway, okay. So let me not get sentimental on us. Let's get right into the word, shall we? All right. We are going to read from Isaiah 43. And then we'll go on to Isaiah 45. Okay. Isaiah 43. And we'll be reading from verse 1 to verse 20. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. Now, when I read words like O Jacob or Israel, you guys put your own names in there. Feel it as God talking directly to you individually and collectively. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou pass through the water, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them? can declare this and show us former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses and that, uh, that, mm, that they may be justified or let them hear and say, it is true. You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved and have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. I got to stop there for a second. Some of you are dwelling on the past. Some of you are dwelling on your old sins. Some of you are dwelling on your failures. Some of you feel like you have just fallen short of God. And God is saying, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, not tomorrow, not next year. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? 
I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Oh, I'm stopping there. Oh, I love that. Listen, you guys, listen, listen. Some of you have struggles because you're too hard on yourself. God knows. He knew from the beginning. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. If it wasn't for that, we would not need Jesus Christ. But we have Jesus Christ. And because we have Jesus Christ, Therefore, now there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You guys are trying. Stop allowing the devil to, con to condemn you. Now, when I got this scripture and I asked God, what do, do you want me to preach about? I just saw Isaiah 43 and right after that, Isaiah 45. It was after I read it that I realized what we were talking about. So I want you to know God wants to encourage you. God does not want you dragging your faith, F-A-I-T-H, along the ground. Oh, he doesn't want you doing that. He doesn't want you bowing to your faults, bowing to your fears. Uh he doesn't want you giving up on what God has put inside of you. Just because you have failed God, which we have all done, thank you, does not mean God will choose to fail you because you're not happy with it. And because you're not happy with it, that shows you have the seed of righteousness in you, which means you belong to him. You belong to him you are righteous. No matter where you are right now, you are righteous. God is with you. God is for you. God is on your side. So don't you sit there and think that because you have fallen short of the glory of God, that you must fall out of bounds and quit the game. It doesn't go like that. What I want you to do is think about what God is doing. I want you to think about what God has placed in your life. God is faithful to complete and fulfill what he has begun. He who has begun a good work in you will complete it. 